What is going on everybody? Welcome back to part 3 of our Stata series tutorials. This is Boris and I'm the Ecology Design Studio. And in this part we're going to take a look at advanced Stata output. We're going to learn a command through which we can force Stata to output our regressions and our models in a work document in a pre-made table um, ready for not exactly ready for publication, but in a publication uh, format, um, such as ones that you see in statistical journals and articles. So let's find out how we do this. Uh, ignore, I've got a bunch of stuff here on the screen. I just preset the regressions uh, so that we can go faster. Um, let's jump right in. We're going to need to download a package. Uh, some of you might already have it. Uh, a lot of you might not. And it's, it's really easy, it's really simple. Just type in, in the command line, ssc space install space outreg2. Outreg2 is the package you need um, to be able to output the data in the format that we're going to see. And press enter. Uh, I already have it. Uh, yeah, all files already exist and are up to date. Uh, for you, it, it's gonna take a little longer. It's a very small package, it shouldn't take too long. Now that we have this, um, let's run our regressions and store our estimates. There's, there's a specific way to do this. Uh, basically, we're running a regular regression now, uh, OLS, ordinary least squares. And as our, as our dependent variable, we have total energy produced uh, in logarithmic form. And as our um, independent explanatory variables, we have total fossil fuels, wind, solar, other renewables, which is basically total renewables minus wind and solar, which includes things like hydroelectric, geothermal, um, and others. We have a, a categorical variable, uh, an embargo dummy, which is for, I think, the periods of, uh, the period between 1972 and 1978, or 1980s, um, thereabout. Um, and we want to see whether that period is statistically significant, whether the OPEC embargo affected the energy produced in the United States. We have um, another categorical variable, environmental dummy, and that starts around the year of 1980s when um, renewables started to kick off. Want to see? We want to see if that's significant. And we also have um, several other explanatory variables, such as the logarithm of the U.S. population. So what we do is we run a regression, right, and then we type in uh, EST store. And then model name, you can call this anything you want, but for simplicity's sake, I call this model one. And then once we open the table later on, we can change that. All right, and no errors, Stata has stored the estimates of these models. Now let's run our robust OLS estimates. And that's basically the exact same thing we did, only I put at the end of this regression, comma, robust. Press enter. And then again, EST store, and then I'm going to type in model two. Again, you can call it anything you want, but for simplicity's sake, um, you can call it model two, or you can call it robust model. Uh, press enter. Stata is now stored, those estimates. And for our final model, we're going to do a new West regression um, with a lag of three. This one's a little different. This one, we've replaced uh, wind and solar and other renewables for total renewables, which includes everything. It includes wind, solar, geothermal, hydroelectric. And let's press enter, see what this looks like. All right, and then we're going to store those estimates. EST store model three. And now we have everything stored and it's time to type in the command that will output um, those stored estimates into a nifty little table. All right, now comes the fun part. Now we're gonna output the regressions and this requires a little bit of typing. So let's go ahead and get started. We type in outreg2, model one, uh, no commas, model two, model three. Uh, we close that, I believe it's brackets. Let me just go ahead and use brackets here. Uh, and using table 2j, um, on the desktop somewhere, uh, I would already create a Word document called Table2j or um, whatever name you want to call it, uh, comma Word, replace 
DEC parentheses five label symbol parentheses star 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 comma star star comma star um, close your parentheses alpha parentheses 0 0.01 comma 0 0.05 uh, comma 0 0.1 parentheses what this does is it replaces the alpha level of 0 0.01 uh, with three stars and we'll see how that looks um, once it's outputted here in a little bit and then keep which variables do we want to keep uh, parentheses ln total I think it's an underscore produced space and viro dummy ln total fossil ln hmm uh, what else do I want total renewable of course um, total renewable and ln uh, US population I think it's just pop okay you can go ahead and type those in or you can click on them here uh, I actually find it it's faster to type it than to scroll around and look at them especially when you have a lot of variables and let's see what we got here let's see if it works let's press enter and it worked all right um, we're not going to see anything here in Stata. basically what it's done is it's taking those models and inputted them in a table uh, on the work document that we've pre-specified and pre-named with that name. So let's take a look at what it looks like. All right, if you click on your document name in Stata on the little blue link that it provides, it opens this up. And this is what it looks like. Instead of creating a table and uh, making it yourself, which <laughs> I assure you it's time consuming and it's, it's quite painful. When I first didn't know how to do this, I tried doing this table the way it's presented in a statistical journal. Uh, by hand basically <laughs> manually creating a table and it's quite silly uh, it's it's definitely worthwhile to to learn how stata works uh, because it can save you a lot of time and a lot of uh, headaches so this is our model one uh, we can replace you know for example instead of typing model one since we know that it's new west we can type in new e west for model two we know that it's robust uh, ordinary least squares we can type in robust OS and for model 3 since we know that it's a regular uh, OS model we can just type in OS and leave it at that uh, I would recommend uh, if your variables look like this to basically give them a proper name so instead of um, you can type in a plus here uh, you can click on this little exponent symbol or a super superscript is control shift uh, plus or you can just click on that and then type in plus uh, and then down here we can type a plus and say all variables in logarithmic format and we can get rid of this and say total fossil energy produce and then so on and so forth until we replace all our variable names with something that a reader can understand uh, we, you know we can't expect our readers to know what ln fossil means or ln total renewable uh, and then here this makes it easy as you can see the three stars this is what it does instead of having 0 0.01 here in a superscript which would just be confusing because it'd be like one long number and then like a small number up in the top it looks like an exponent we replace that with uh, the three stars and that means that this variable um, actually these three variables here are statistically significant at alpha 0 0.01 so highly statistically significant this one is only significant at 0 0.05 um, you can import this table now uh, into um, you know PDF format or into PowerPoint and it's much easier to work with and much more fluid much more presentable so this is it for now folks this is the end of part three thanks for watching uh, there will be more parts to Stata as we go forward uh, especially delving into the energy security diversity project um, again links to the previous uh, parts of this tutorial series to all the documents i'm referring to and to the excel data set 
are available in the description of this video. You can also visit our collegedesigns.com slash feed. We have a lot of other publications uh, on everything from accounting to broadband communications and energy security and diversity. But you can also find the main Excel document um, from where uh, the one I imported into Stata. If you don't have Stata but are a student, I think there is a substantial discount um, that you can receive uh, to use it if you're in a professional environment. Um, I think it only costs a couple hundred dollars for a perpetual license with 2,000 variables, uh, something like $150. Uh, it, it depends. Like I said, it's, it's not free. It's not cheap. If you're looking for something free, I highly recommend R and PSPP. I have not worked with PSPP. I have worked with R, and I think very soon I'm going to start a tutorial series on R. It's going to be much longer and much more involved. I find R a, a bit more difficult. It has a higher learning curve. Uh, but I think it's highly satisfying, especially once you get to know it. And again, it's free. I mean, you can't beat that. So again, thanks for watching, folks. And I'll see you next time on our College Designs production.